he had heard of a couple who uh, were going to adopt a child, uh, but had stated that they were willing to um, take a Jewish child and save her life. If her family wasn't going to come back, they would adopt her. Uh, but they, uh, they were willing to do this. They were a very religious couple and they felt that um, this is what God wanted of them. And uh, they, were, they were moving from one town to another and nobody knew them in the other town so that um, they, could, they could take the child and, you know, um, it was their child. She, she decided that this was the only way. And so the next people, next uh, morning, the people came. Um, that was the first time she met them and uh, took me with them. And so, so she only met them for a couple of hours? Not, probably not even that. She just said that they came the next morning and, and took me with them. Um, so she knew nothing about them. She only knew that the intentions were to look after me. And, um, and, and I was with them for three years. They lived in um, Oudorp, which is very close to Alkmaar, um, where the big cheese markets are in Holland. And the northern part of Holland, um, I think it may be because there's more farms, um, they didn't go through the same hunger. Um, I can still remember the, the, the man of the couple, um, he was a teacher, but when they moved to the other town, he was working in an office and I can still remember going to his office to see him there or, or walk home with him after, after the, his work day. Um, they were religious. Um, I went to church with them. Um, and um, um, I called them, I was just starting to talk, um, so I called them mother and father and I really didn't know, of course, for, for all that time I didn't know any better. 